Hey, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. Last night I saw Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul, and I really didn't know anything about the book series. I had heard about it, and I hadn't read it, but being a lover of raptors, particularly owls, I immediately fell in love with this film. It is absolutely gorgeous. The animation is crisp, beautiful, and the texturing on the wings, and especially with the owls in flight, which just took my breath away. I thought it was really remarkable. Just spectacular. And the story was interesting, too. I, I like the fact that it, it kind of reminded me just slightly of Norwegian mythology with the World Tree Yardisol. And I mentioned that to my dad and he, he looked at me like I was insane. And I said, look, they have a world tree, just <laughs> just like the gods in, in Norse mythology. And I think that that was taken from that, or probably from Celtic myth because they too have a tree of life. Um, my dad had difficulties telling the villains from the heroes. Well, the the villains, they are... Um, I think they were more Aryan. They're, I mean, there's no other word for it. They were Aryans. <laughs> I mean, they call themselves the pure ones, for heaven's sake. And then you've got the, um, the guardians who have kind of laureled etched helmets that kind of re they, they remind me of Spartan headwear or uh, knights and uh, I think that's the look that they were going for and I, I just I love all the characters Eglantine and Soren and um, Elza Rib was really cool I, I really liked him <laughs> he, he was very interesting and Twilight, being a poet myself, I, I fell in love with Twilight even though Twilight couldn't sing. Um, <laughs> Digger was funny too. Digger had some screws loose, but he was just a lovable character. And Gelfie, I, I thought Gelfie was probably one of the prettier characters as a, an elf owl. She was just so uh, um, incredible. She, she was really a a beautiful character. They were all beautiful characters, especially the main guardians, um, which were probably some of my favorite owls ever, Snowies, and it's just really a fantastic film. It's one that just fascinates you from the get-go, and um, I, I really loved it, and I would probably see it again if I had the chance, because it's just... <laughs> There's nothing that I can't say that's bad about this film. Uh, at first, it's it's a little difficult to follow, but after a while, you, you think, oh yeah, now I understand. I, I get where they're going with this. And it's uh, got this whole Lord of the Rings feel to it, and there's a mythos that I really like. And it's just... Uh, it's extraordinary. It's really a unique film in and of itself, and of course the animation is top notch. These animators, they really know what they're doing, especially with the way the, the owl's pinions are shaped when they fly. I mean, they, they have it down to the precise detail, and it's like you're actually watching owls. Even the echidna, the, uh, the prophetic echidna was very interesting. Like I know what that is. It's an echidna. I don't. We don't have echidnas here. So uh, I've I've seen pictures. So I know what they look like. But it was uh, just a really uh, <clears throat> marvelous tale, and it had a lot of good um, lessons to be taken from it. I just like the whole idea of we are our dreams and uh, dreams, if you intend, can definitely come true. And I've seen this happen more often than once. If you're looking for a, a good movie to watch, particularly with your kids, 
this this is definitely the one they will they will love it you will love it i loved it being an owl lover <laughs> raptors rule but beyond that if you have a younger child who's five to seven i would not recommend this movie to them because there are some pr pretty hairy harrowing scary scenes particularly um when soren and clutter kidnap and it's it's very ominous and dour and dark um and unsettling and of course the whole the whole theme of uh race is brought up which i, I thought was really uh interest with race and class and the social order and I thought we're getting into this in a children's film holy smokes this is deep but <laughs> it's well worth looking into if, if you're looking for a movie that will make you think and um, just appreciate that whole idea of oral tradition a story and it's just so magnificently magically woven together that it just it's flawless from head to toe I can't say enough good about this movie I give the Guardians of Kahul four stars without a doubt it is by far one of the best animated films I've seen since uh, up or last year's Toy Story 3 <laughs> Yeah, I like this as much or more than, than Toy Story 3 or Despicable Me. It's just really <laughs> dazzling. And that's all I have to say about uh, Legend of the Guardians. So check it out.